it's morning. We just woke up. You got your girl nearby. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like breakfast. wearing a shirt. Yeah, you're eating breakfast. Uh, I'm so jealous of your pancakes, Michael. Uh, we woke up to uh, raccoons had torn down like half of our corn, eaten it all, trampled all of our plants. And like, ah. this is life, you know? Like I want to wrap things up in a bow and have things pretty. And like, oh my God, life is gritty, man. And real mm. and filled with... Mm conflict and tension and moments of total joy like this mm. so I'm glad to be here with you in this meh 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 <laughs> oh, thank you yeah mm-hmm. and there's a lot of mu- I find there's a lot of mundaneness a lot of just chores and doing stuff and uh, and you've got you're brewing up an adventure and I, I want you to tease me with it because I, I don't know what you're up to and I want to be there and uh, I want a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Um, part of it stemmed from having this shift with my partner last night. You spoke of the mundane. We're in the same routine all the time. We relate to each other the same all the time. And last night, like uh, grandmother was with or Baba was with Nivena and we made a cocktail and she started telling me stories of her life before I knew her. And there was this animation to her. There was this like, almost like a new person, like this person I hadn't seen in three years. It was beautiful to fall in love with her. And I think Mm -hmm. of sometimes like I need a, like a a visceral experience to shake up even like the ground of my own life. Um, And like, how do I break up the mundane? Um, Mm. You know, I've I've always been a big journaler. Mm and reflector and, and, and like to reflect with other men and still there's a process that's escaping me. It's like, I can still be stuck in my head, mm. stuck in like how to make sense of my life, how things fit in boxes. Mm. And, and I, I, I know this adventure and I've done it before with, uh, with adults, I've done it a lot with teens and younger mm. kids, mm. but I think it's totally great for, for the men in, in um, powerful and loving and your friends too, by the way, this is like an open thing that we're going to gather on uh, Saturday, the 21st, and it's going to be evening. Nighttime. It's going to be evening. It's going to be nighttime. Not like one in the morning, but is it uh, going to be a cozy kind of like a uh, studio with chocolate drinks and no comfortable. I mean, this is, this is going to be like a little raw and, uh, and it's going to be dangerous. It's going to be dangerous. Um, there's not going to be like knives or stuff involved. It's nothing like that. And it's not the kind of danger where you have to prove yourself or act macho. We're all going to be gathering at night and it's going to be an invitation to go on our own journey. Hmm. And I, I, one stipulation I would say would be wear long pants. That might be wise. Because we're, we're outside. We're outside. It's going to be mosquitoes. evening time. Mosquitoes. And... I don't want to tell people what's, what's going to happen because I think there's, there's a, a, a real mystery in being confronted with the unknown. And that's what I want to do. Like mm. I want to confront myself with, with the unknown. Mm. And I will tease out one thing. I'll say what happens when we turn off one of our senses, one of the senses we rely on to navigate the world, make sense of the world. Um, I'm trying not to be ableist. I would say most of the people in our community, um, yeah, might relate to it. Uh, there's there's a, a change in our in our relationship with the world when one of our senses, I'm, I'm leaving hints, is taken away from us. Mm. And what do we rely on? Mm. How do uh, how do I do deal with the with the fear in my body? Mm. How do I navigate the world? <laughs> mm. And so there'll be time for like bringing your life to to the circle bringing whatever you're working with. And if you're working with nothing, it's like, Oh, life is good. I'm curious, but like, I got no big issues. That's totally cool too. Mm -hmm. Or if you're like grappling with something internally with someone else, bring that too. Mm -hmm. So it'll be time to speak to that. And we'll go on this experiential journey and there there will be time around a fire to share. Yeah. To share with men. Yeah. And, and I guess if I'm just going, yeah, I'm so happy and full and rich, but I'm kind of bored, restless. I want to feel my edge. 
this is edge stuff. This is, uh, and it's not pretty. Right. And, mm -hmm. uh, and part of the edge too, is maybe not knowing what this adventure is going to entail, but know that, um, this isn't a place like to be macho. Um, this is a place like to go and, and, and to be supported and we have to meet, meet your edge mm. so that maybe we can revisit the sweets in our life. Mm. And, oh my God. And they taste all the bombs. <laughs> you are teasing me, man. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Oh, oh, I, I'm just thinking, you know, I, I don't know what's going to happen. And, and I, I want to bring a friend and there's no insurance here. Like we're not signing some thing that we're not going through some, this is yeah. a, a matter of trust. Like who do I trust? Who's going to want to come on an adventure with me and who's going to like be present enough in their body that they can be outside at nighttime and just kind of go with what the invitations might be. And I guess, is there a place where if, if something happens, someone can say, ah, uh, I need help or I'm uncomfortable or something strange happens yeah. in this adventure? Thank you for speaking to that. Um, I, so I've done this before. I'd have done this with myself and, and had to ask for help. I got caught. Well, you know, I'm not going to give details. It wasn't hurt. <laughs> yeah. But, 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 yeah. but there will be room, room to ask for help. And there'll, there'll be a few men who I'm going to uh, uh, ask uh, to support the process. Cause that's, I think what it takes. Right. And it's like, I can sign this piece of paper that says I'm insured and I take responsibility for myself and that's great. But it's another thing to forego that piece of paper, that contract and actually have to trust and lean on each other, lean on other. Mm. I hope that answers your question. And if, if men have any concerns, they can write them down, down yeah. below. They can reach out to you and to me and yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just, I live for this, Michael. And um, I need this like regularly. Yeah. yeah. yeah me too. Yeah. I was thinking of like, you know, let's just go for a walk and like reflect. And I was like, oh my God, that fuck. My life is filled with nice plans and we have an hour time container. Let's, you know, make things nice and light. And like, fuck, I, I, I kind of need to shake up, mm. shake things up a little bit. Yeah. So. And since we're talking wow. about it right now in the morning, it kind of reminds me of like, of like pulling the cobwebs of like sleep and, and that automatic pilot in life of like going out of my routine, getting out of my box, even if I like my box and yeah, surrendering to mm -hmm. some kind of mysterious, weird adventure. I don't know where it's going to take me. Mm -hmm and it'll uh, um something that i've learned picked up from you is that everything will be by invitation um so if someone's um not feeling it that's totally fine i'm sorry mm. i have to come in speaking of danger my mm. daughter lives on the edge of danger all the time <laughs> so maybe, maybe is, we'll leave it at that and if, if this is amazing men have more questions they can reach out yeah okay yeah thanks mike um yeah, yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, thanks for this time, too, David. Mm. Hey, I'll see you Here's soon. Here's around on the twenty first. Looking forward to it. My uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Mm.